So the Moog One is Moog's answer to their longest standing customer request, which is make a new polysynth, but make one for the 21st century. Anything that you could possibly want a subtractive analog synthesizer to do is pretty much possible on a Moog One. Um, one of the key things as well is not just that it is insanely packed with features, but it's actually incredibly easy to use. Weirdly, I'd say it's one of their easiest to use synthesizers they've ever made. Um, and everything is available on the front panel. And if it's not available on the front panel, it is just a button push away. Um, and you can save an insane amount of patches on the device as well. Um, there's no arbitrary fixed limit, but given the four gigabyte of user memory space in the machine, you should reasonably be able to fit something in the region of 20,000 presets in the machine. So um, not only does it have the feature set that will keep you busy for a lifetime, but you can literally store a lifetime's worth of patches in the machine. So the design clearly owes its heritage to classic synths of the past, namely the Memory Moog. Uh, if you look at a picture of a Memory Moog, they look basically the same, but of course the Moog One is, is not a Memory Moog, and it's actually not supposed to be a modern recreation of the Memory Moog. It's totally its own beast, it's its own machine, and it surpasses the Memory Moog in lots of different ways, although the Memory Moog will always be its own unique beast. In terms of who the Moog One is for, it, it is for anyone interested in exploring sound design. And I think, you know, as Dan proves, that if you have the skills, if you're a player, there is just an, an, it is an extraordinary performance instrument. It is incredible the possibilities that you can, you know, the sounds you can achieve if you can play well. But you don't need to be able to play well to play the machine. I can't really play very well, and I have a lot of fun with the thing because you have multiple sequences, you have tons of modulation, you can set up these amazing self playing patches that are almost just like tracks in and of themselves. So it, it really is for anyone <laughs> at any skill level, ironically, but. Um, Obviously, there is a, a bit of a, you know, it's a, it's a, not an inconsiderable investment, but I think if you play on one, come to the shop and actually have a go, you will see why it is what it is. Um, it's pretty breathtaking. Sonically, it is capable of just a mind-blowing expanse of different things. As I said, pretty much any sound that you can imagine a subtractive synth doing, it's possible to make on the Moog One and add polyphony. Um, you know, um, but when you combine it with the effects, and then the effects are a combination of um, even tied reverbs, even tied being one of the, the world's most celebrated reverb makers. Um, and also their own, Moog's own in-house DSP effects, which are excellent and sound very warm and analog and interesting, then the machine is capable of just going to totally wild and crazy places. You know, you can get stuff that almost sounds, or reminds me of like wavetable synthesizers, but actually digital synthesizers, which is not something you would necessarily attribute to an analog machine. It can do those kinds of things as well as 
amazing, lush, warm, fat poly brass and basses, spooky leads, dark, strange, clangorous, bell-like timbres and just everything in between. Mogwan in one sentence is the ultimate analog dream synth. So if your curiosity is piqued and you would like to see a Moog one being played by a very experienced player, check out the video on Gear for Music's channel with Dan Goldman, who can absolutely shred. Um, he brings the funk and also the soul uh, to that beautiful machine, and I haven't heard it sounding quite like it did in Dan's hand, so check out the video. Is worth leaving your family for. Um, children fetch a very, very reasonable price in the open market. Um, and a couple of kids, a couple of kidneys, you've got to for a reason. Hop down to your local uh, backstreet doctor and um, head in to give for music and place a deposit. <laughs>